machine learning was just considered to be just a niche subfield of computer science. But technology giants have been using it for years. Machine learning algorithms power Walmart product recommendations, search pricing at Uber, fraud detection at top financial institutions, content that Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter display on social media feeds or Google Maps. Machine learning products are being used daily, perhaps without any realization. A report from TMR mentions that machine learning is expected to grow from $1.07 billion in 2016 to $19.9 billion by the end of 2025. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence and computer science, which focuses on the use of data and algorithms to imitate the way the human learn and hence gradually improves the accuracy. How Machine Learning Works Step 1. A Decision Process in general, machine learning algorithms are used to make a prediction or classification. Based on some input data, which can be labeled or unlabeled, your algorithm will produce an estimate about a pattern in the data. Step 2. An error function. An error function serves to evaluate the prediction of the model. If there are known examples, an error function can make a comparison to access the accuracy of the model. Step 3. A model optimization process. If the model can fit better to the data points in the training set, then weights are adjusted to reduce the disparency between the known examples and the model estimate. There are three methods of machine learning. First one is supervised learning. In this type of learning, algorithms build a mathematical model of a set of data that contains both the input and the desired outputs. The data is known as training data and consists of set of training examples. Each training example has one or more inputs and the desired output, also known as supervisory signal. Second method is called unsupervised learning. This method of learning algorithm takes a set of data that contains only inputs and find structure in the data, like grouping or clustering of data points. The algorithms therefore learn from test data that has not been labeled, classified or categorized. Instead of responding to feedback, unsupervised learning algorithms identify commonalities in the data and react based on the presence or absence of such commonalities in each new piece of data. Third type of learning is called as semi-supervised learning. This falls between unsupervised learning and supervised learning. During training, it uses smaller label dataset to guide classifications and features extraction from a larger and unlabeled dataset. Machine learning is used in day-to-day -day life, like speech recognition, customer service, computer vision, automated stock training, discovering data trends, and lot more. So guys, this is all about machine learning.